Hey guys, Anthony, 4B4 Touring Australia. Another quick video, a little bit of information on these fridges. So they're basically the same. One says Dometic on it. That one says Dometic on the handle. If you open up in here, it doesn't say anything. On this one, it says nothing on the handle. If you open up, it says Waco. So Waco, Dometic, whatever, same thing. It's the same thing anyway, I can tell you. Basically, right, basically. I'm not here to promote the Waco or Dometic brand. They're sort of not my favorite thing, you know what I mean? So you're going, well, why have you got these? At the time, I thought that the drawer in the storage system was a pretty good idea. And at the moment, I'm still happy with that. It's good, but it needs some time before we know for sure. So if you're not already subscribed, turn the bell on and I'll come back to you once we've had these running for weeks, months, a year or two, whatever, unless it fails and we've got to rip it out and put something else in in which case you'll see that but going to give you some dimensions some weights as i remember i haven't gone back and done fresh research but um i saw a uh, evercool which i prefer as a brand but these drawer fridges i think they're really much of a muchness the evercool was a lot bigger so it was a lot wider you know it was sort of like maybe this wide it was a little bit higher and it was double the weight of this unit here this is a 30 liter um if I remember correctly, the Evercool, it was around about 35 kilos for one fridge, 40 litre. If I remember correctly, this 30 litre is 18 kilos or thereabouts, you know, might be 17 or 19, something like that. In my mind, I had it, I can have two of those for the same weight and I've got a 60 litre. But then I went, well, I don't need 60 litres because I've got 40 in the other car, so 50 is plenty. I need more space for water, which is why there's room behind this one for an extra 10 litres of water um, compared to obviously having the bigger fridge. So it was 10 litres of water or 10 litres of, of cooling space. So just going to give you, that's the reasons why I got the fridges from um, Melandi Outdoor Adventure in Thomastown in Victoria. They're at most of the four-wheel drive shows and stuff like that. Um, they can be a little bit hard to get a hold of. I mentioned before and a few people, um, which is unfortunate. I think they might have been, did someone say they're having trouble with their website or something like that? So. Give them a chance, keep trying. Um, let's see what happens there, okay? But I'm gonna give you some dimensions on the fridges. So uh, the 30 litre, I think the normal retail is something like 6.99. So the way to think of it is, even if you purchase two 60 litres for 6.99, that's 1,400 bucks, right? A lot of people are going to buy an angle with a steel case, I wouldn't, um, for 1,400 bucks, or they'll go and spend, you know, that sort of money on other fridges. Then they've got to get fridge slides, you, or if you put it up on top of a drawer up here, which is a mistake because you can't see in the top of it Then you've got to drop it down to here. Then it's out here getting in the way. You just want it in there like that It's a really awesome idea. Yeah? I hope you're with me with this But it's just unknown because normally when you've got a fridge and you open your back door I suppose you've got your cool the areas on the fridge. There's a lot of heat transfer going on, right? You know evaporators condensers pumps and things going on and fans and things need to be cooled down and it's kind of like all in the back there from what I've seen already, I'm pretty sure it's going to be okay, but just going to give you some info. So the size of these fridges, the opening we've used to fit those in, I should be able to remember all this anyway, but I reckon it was uh, 450, but it's by the looks of this, it's not. It's about 440, so I think it's obviously I can't measure right where the fridge is, so I'm going directly above it if I can. Pretty well 440 is what I'm looking at, 440, so... Um, also the height, I reckon the height was, I'm very sure the height was 250 on both of them. So whether it's the 20 or the 30 litre, we went dead on 250, got us, right? So I'll do the best I can with the drawer there, right? 250 is what it was, right? You don't want to be a millimetre less, you don't want to be a millimetre more. There is some rubber feet on the bottom, so if it ends up too tight, you can put some silicon spray or some other lube to slide it in. And there's, you can, I've put a little bolt in the side of one of them. The top one was tight, so I haven't done anything. I've just kind of forced it into position and gone, it ain't moving. The bottom one was a little bit loose, so I've put a bolt, little bolt in the side around the corner there. We'll get to that in another video. But it seems good at the moment. So I just want to give you an idea of, you know, space in there. I haven't worked out exactly how many cans you can fit in here. I know a lot of people want to know that, but there's, there's like a Corona six-pack cardboard there with some cans in it, and you'd fit one, two three with some space so there's 18 so you're definitely going to fit more than a slab of cans in here and you've still got space above it and that's the can to the top there's a bit of space there right so 
Um, I'm not really seeing much disadvantage here. It's it's pretty cool. Um, so I think this was 450 internally, so I'll just let you know. Yeah, 450 is the space you got there, I think by 300 or a touch over 300, about 320, 330. So that's your rough space you got in that one. And this one I think was about 300 by 300. Ballpark, you know what I mean, around about that. So we've got a thermometer there, We're obtaining another one so we can keep one in. 320, so it's probably 320 by 320. Um, we'll fix that up afterwards, the thermometer falling over, but in there, yeah, there's, uh, again, those uh, six-pack there, and there's another six-pack here of bottles laying down, you know, so you can fit, you know, six that way, six that way. The bottles don't stand up. That's that's your problem, your height, right? Remember, you know, you're 250, but you're only going to get in your drawer, you're only going to get about 210 by the looks of it. Oh, I'm going to, given your rough measurements here, very rough, 210. Uh, no, but then you've got that, so about 200, not even 200, right? So... What you've got there is a height restriction. So if you need to stand things up, this isn't for you. Like, you know, what do you need to stand up and lay down? It's for food. It's really not that much for drinks. We could have, hey, we can have one for drinks. This one, nice cold drinks. We'll crank it down low. And this one can be on about 10 degrees and we'll keep the lettuce cool and the tomatoes, you know? So, yeah, fresh food in the top on about 5 or 10 degrees would be beautiful, you know? No, nothing that needs to be kept at 4 degrees. That's dairy. You don't need that. Just fresh food, you know? All the things that need to be kept cold, um, cool, not cold really, just cool. So five or ten degrees, and we'll, what the power we save here, we'll crank this one down to zero and get those beers or whatever you're into nice and icy cold in our little 20 litre space. Should work really well. Anyway, just wanted to give you some dimensions, um, some reasons why I went for that, and like I said, more space and the same weight for a 50 or 60 litre combination the same weight as a 40 litre Evercool. Um, this space here is going to fit another fridge in there. Obviously you have to take the so this side of the storage system off, so screws out of there to there. That side off, this partition would come out and then you could obviously you take your fridges out first and then you could put a new fridge, you have to get a slide or tray with the slide hinges, whatever, it slides, what do you call it, to, uh, to size and you could you know do what we've done with the other. It's basically almost a mirror image, the sizes are a bit different. Anyway, I'm out of here. That's the fridge side of things. I think we covered it. Dometic, Waco's, whatever. We're not saying they're great or anything. We're testing. We're going to hammer them. We're going to leave them on. We're going to hammer them. We're not going to, we're going to hammer the battery from time to time, but we're going to put on charge as well. Um, and that's a butter bing, butter boom. If you haven't already, please subscribe, turn the bell on so you can get all these bits of information and it'll all come together and you'll know exactly what's going on. Helps save you money so you don't buy stuff you don't need so that you can sort of have a think about what you really need. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.